All right, now, today I would like to talk about uh, a subject that is very near and dear to my heart. I know that a lot of people don't quite understand a lot about the, the hex meta and what cards are good and what cards are bad, but um, that's why people like myself are willing to give up our time and help explain this process to you. Now, you might be thinking, there are a lot of really good diamond cards that I could be playing. But we all know, deep down inside, that the best diamond card that we could be playing in our Diamond Blood Constant decks are all in the family, all in the family, all in the family, and all in the family. That's four copies of all in the family. Now, uh, in, in order to really explain how in incredible this card is. Um, I, I need to go through a, a little bit of, of backstory. This this card saved me from uh, a very dark time in, in my life. Uh, I was uh, I was in a dark street alley uh, in New York. I, I was just uh, off the bus and I, I didn't have any fare. Uh, but uh, a man came and, and tried to rob me anyways, and I was trying to explain to him that I just didn't have any money in my pocket. There was nothing that he could take from me, but all the words that I was saying just got caught up and choked in my throat, and he was getting closer and closer, and that the blade of that knife just kept... just uh, uh. But um, thankfully, I pulled out my laptop, and I, I showed him that I was a, I was a good person because I owned... 36 copies of All in the Family, and uh, he he immediately knew, uh, much like if I had been wearing a, a priest's vestments, that I was too fine a person to mug, and that I was a man who understood true quality. And he, he departed, and he left me untouched. So I am here to just share with everyone the, the beauty, the wonder, the majesty of this card. I, I sincerely believe that in, in order to have created this, that the divine inspiration of not a singular god, but a whole pantheon, a whole pantheon, several pantheons of gods collaborated to offer the team the divine inspiration that was required to forge in the just the, the, the angelic flames of just pure enlightenment. This this just masterpiece, this magnum opus. It makes Picasso look like, it just look like an earthworm with chopsticks taped to its head. He could never have imagined that in the future, uh, the old masters would have been usurped in such a glorious fashion. But uh, enough about uh, my personal relationship and the, the, the creation of this, this masterpiece. Uh, we should get into what the card actually does and why you're going to need four copies. Um, I would say that you should put in five or six or a hundred copies um, in your Jankbot deck. Now, uh, a lot of people don't know that Jankbot uh, will respect the divinity of this card and let you run a hundred copies in the deck. Uh, it's a little secret uh, deck tech. Uh, don't tell anyone, though, because then it might get... Uh, well, not patched out, but they might realize that um, you're revealing the divinity of this card in such a blatant fashion may be inappropriate. We need you to come to the light and understand of your own accord. You need to come willingly and understand that All in the Family is one of the greatest cards that has been printed and that Hero Fall is just a deceiver. Hero Fall will lead you astray with its animated alternate arts and its and it's defilement. You don't need that in your life. You just need to stray off that path and come to all in the family. It's it's just, you know, it's exactly like Ephesians 6, 4. Fathers, do not exasperate your children. Instead, bring them up in the training and instruction of all in the family. So all in the family is a two-resource card called all in the family, uh, obviously. Uh, what you're going to notice is that only the all and the family are capitalized, and not the in and the the, because I feel like that really ties into the, the religious symbolism and, and the potency of this of this card. All is uh, like the beginning and the end, the alpha and omega. It tells you ahead of time that this is going to be a card that is going to radically change your life, that you are going to read this card text and you are never going to be the same. And family tells you that you are invited. You are invited to share in the splendor of this. 
And that's that's an invitation you're just going to have to take it up on because uh, if you don't, you're, you're just going to be left out in the cold. Hero Fall is not going to give you that kind of comfort. Hero Fall, the text is one word, one crude word, one not even real word. I mean, come on. When, when we sit down and we really think about it, we know what the truth is. And down past that line, we can see the two diamond icons. Now, a lot of people may not understand the, the religious significance of, the, of two, but uh, two is, uh, is the best, is the best number. It, it represents you and, and all in the family coming together in this, in this perfect harmony. You and all in the family. All in the family and you. You are both diamonds, perfect, impenetrable, flawless gems that will continue to shine brightly as the sun burns out. Eternity will not be able to tarnish your relationship as long as you accept all in the family into your deck. Now, another thing that is really going to make it quite clear what, what all in the family brings to the table is that it is a constant. The universe is going to keep spinning. Entropy is going to come. Planets will be wiped out. Everything will be cast. The distances between each atom and each other atom will be just so... Oh. But all in the family is constant. It will remain, and it will remain as close to your heart and on your battlefield, on your board, forever. No removal can take that away from you. Once you have internalized all in the family, it just, it's not going anywhere. And that's what you need it to do. The set symbol is a shield for armies of myth, and that shield tells you that all in the family, you are a part of the family, and it will protect you. It will do everything that it can to ensure that you have a successful match. And all of your matches will be successful as long as you run five copies of All in the Family. And send me $20 in three easy payments, plus shipping and handling. But uh, enough about that. We will move on to the monetary aspects uh, once we have uh, truly discussed this. Um, if you would like to get ahead of that schedule, though, I would recommend that you begin monitoring your Thetans now so that by the time I get to that point, you'll be ready for that. But the card text is really, it just, it just wows you. It just takes, I can't even properly enunciate, I can't speak because it just takes my breath away. It says, while you control five or more troops with different costs, troops you control have plus one, plus one, and invincible. Now you might be saying, wow, that is incredible. Where am I going to find a better deal than that? Six cards and I get plus one, plus one? I don't just get plus one, plus O, oh, or, or, or plus O, oh, plus one. I know. You get both of the pluses. And all you need are six cards, including all in family. That is, wow, just where are you? I don't even know if a better deal exists. Where would you get a better deal? If you get a better deal, it's probably heretical and it needs to be destroyed. Like Hero Fall, which is going to, you know, potentially one for four. And that is some foul black magic that we, we, do, not, we do not encourage on this channel. But also it's going to make your troops invincible, which means that Hero Fall is not going to be able to touch them. It is going to shield them from the corrupting world beyond. As long as your relationship with all in the family is strong and firm, nothing can get in the way of that. Except for like extinction or, you know, a lot of things. But that's, uh, I, I'm, oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. I, I had doubts. Some doubts just crept into me, but I know all, all in the family will forgive me. Oh, I'm so, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. All in the family, please forgive me. But we got to move on. The, the second line says, At the end of your turn, if you control two or more troops with the same cost, sacrifice this. Now, I know that's, that's going to seem like a heavy cost for a lot of people, but that's just part of how it works. It asks a lot from you, but, I mean, that's, that's all relationships. You have to commit. You have to be ready to give and take as part of your, your matrimony. So if you control 
uh, two cards of the same cost. That is that is sinful. Um, a one cost and a one cost shall not lie with each other as a one cost and a two cost. That's that's just how it is. And, I, and I'm sorry, but we just can't change uh, the the rules of all in the family to suit this uh, this modern political climate. It's just I, I can't even believe that you would ask me that. I can't. I just can't believe that. But all in the family has a last bit of text to to just leave us on a really on a really powerful note. So not only do we get to pay two double diamond threshold to get plus one plus one and invincible for six cards, but we also get to know with the flavor text that family is everything. And that that's what's gonna save you. Family is everything. When you are going through your deck and you have to top deck something that will help you survive this just disastrous board state after you've been mass polymorphed, all in the family is gonna come down and it's gonna save you like the heart of the cards. You're gonna slap all in the family down and all of those dinglers are actually gonna force you to sacrifice this card. Um, uh, uh, it's all in the family. It's great. Buy like 1,700 copies for 1,600 platinum apiece. I am definitely not listing a bunch of them as we speak. This is not a marketing ploy. I, I just, I really want you to understand how great this card is and ignore uh, any, any detractors or any, any market analysis that is going to tell you otherwise. That is a, that's just a bunch of shit. You don't need that in your life. Let all in the family come into your deck.